Robomate Plus, India's largest curriculum based study app. Download the app now. The work of a river. Rivers are the greatest agents of erosion, transportation, and deposition. The force of erosion of a river depends number one on the degree of inclination or the gradient of its course which means the slope of its course. The force of erosion of a river also depends on the volume of water it carries, it depends on the load of the sediments, the velocity of water and the water discharge. There are various factors which affect erosion, transportation and deposition work of a river. Let us find out some important factors. The most important factors are the velocity of the water, the volume of the water and the load carried by the water. First, let's understand the velocity of water which affects the work of a river. The erosion and transportation are both maximum when the velocity of the water is high. In other words, we can say that erosion and transportation are both proportionate to the velocity of water. Whereas deposition takes place when the velocity of water is low. The second factor that affects the work of a river is the volume of water. The larger the volume of water, the greater is the power of erosion and transportation. Whereas deposition takes place better when there is reduced volume of water as well as when the load is greater. The third factor that affects the work of a river is the load carried by the river water. Now what is a load? Load is the material transported by a river. The load of a river does all the work of both erosion and deposition. Mass wasting, deepening of river valleys and formation of landforms all depend on the load a river carries. Let's understand about the course of a river. Rivers normally originate in mountains, from glaciers or from lakes. But there are some rivers in India like those in the Deccan Plateau region which are formed due to the meeting of various streams during rainfall. These rivers are like river Mahanadi, the river Godavari, river Krishna and river Kaveri. The place of origin of a river is called its source. Whereas when a river enters the sea or disappears before joining the sea, it is called as its mouth. The streams or the small rivers which join the main river are called its tributaries. Where a river divides into channels or smaller rivers, they are known as distributaries. The path along which the river flows is known as the course of a river. From the source to its mouth, a river is divided into three main sections. They are the upper course, the middle course and the lower course. These three sections are also called as the profile of a river. Let's understand about the upper course of a river. In the upper course of its flow, the river is young. At this stage, the river flows swiftly because the gradients here are steep. The upper course of a river generally lies in a hilly area and the river flows a considerable distance over the steep slope. Along its course, it erodes its bed and banks. It carries with it large boulders of rocks. 
therefore in the upper course the most dominant activity of a river is erosion there are many landforms which are shaped by this erosional activity of the river the first landform seen in the upper course of the river due to its erosional activity is v shaped valley a v shaped valley is a narrow valley that has a profile suggesting the form of the english alphabet v it is formed from a stream eroding downward through a process called as down cutting these valleys are formed in the initial stages of rivers and have steep slopes in the regions of hard rocks it develops almost vertically in an i shape river valleys are normally formed in areas of sufficient rainfall and where the rocks are not very hard or resistant the second landform formed in the upper course of a river due to its erosional activity is a waterfall a waterfall is generally formed due to large differences in the rate of erosion the smaller differences lead to formation of step like features known as rapids the water that falls down the edge of a hard resistant rock may have at the bottom a soft rock it is this soft rock that gets eroded fast and creates a hollow basin called as plunge pool some of the world's highest and the best known waterfalls are angel falls in venezuela which has a fall of 986 meters and yosemite falls in california usa which has a fall of 778 meters india's highest waterfall is the jog falls also known as the ger sopa falls on a tributary of kaveri river and it has a plunge of 60 meters thank you for watching this video lecture to watch more such interesting videos attempt test and to get instant analysis download the robobet plus app now